Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another setup video. Um, <clears throat> first of all, excuse my voice. We've just had like a um, sort of like a festival weekend at the temple and I've just, um, yeah, sort of lost my voice a little bit. Um, so, <coughs> excuse me. Um, today I'm going to be setting up March in my B6 strategy. I just love this Aura Estelle cover so I'm not sure what I'm going to do because sort of for March I do try to go for like sort of more greens uh, but sort of still pink so I might still keep this cover um, I don't really have like a green cover that I love actually I don't think I even have a green cover maybe um, so yeah I might change out like this stuff here so it's not so like pinky and it I like to refresh my covers anyway in the pockets but I might still keep it in here um, yeah because I'm just really enjoying it and I sort of don't want to be tied down to like okay I have to change something because you know it like it's a new month like if I'm happy and comfortable in something then I just want to stay in there um so yeah I have actually started using it because today is actually the 6th of March so all of last week um I had to already like obviously set up and start using my planner so i have like done that whole week here but i've left like enough pages to set set it up because as you guys know i have a very like standard way of like setting up each month um so the first thing i have is like this monthly calendar so i think i've got two here i've got <clears throat> excuse me maybe even three no, I did have three, but I've used one in my A5. So I had the Sterling Ink freebie. This is from SM Plans Facebook group. Um, I might use this for my homeschool check. This is from Hello Petite Papers Facebook group. Um, and I think that's going to be like a really, that one also is from there. And I just love all her designs um, so far. Then I've got my March calendar that I have printed. Like I've created these myself. Um, on Canva, super easy. I have my memory keeping. I actually still have to finish some bits and bobs. I've got pages for my kids. Then, like I said, I've got homeschool. Um, and then that's it. Jump straight into a, a pa page for like word of the day. And then I jump straight into my daily pages. So let's just go ahead and get started. I've obviously got, um, I've finally organized all my washi tapes. I did have to buy more containers for it let me show you guys i only have 15 of these so this like set of three here is one container so i've got them stacked up like three on top of each other and they're all color coordinated so i've got like um reds and pinks and before what i had done is i had like um only my london gifties washi and then all the other washies were on the end over there but i found i wasn't really using some of these like other beautiful like simply gilded and lauren phelps designs and other like random ones i have so now they are just totally color coordinated in that um these are all the sort of pinks these are all non london gifties pinks um and then i've got like the wide london gifties pinks and then all my pink london gifties um same again like yellowy orange purple blue so i have kept like so these are all like from the washi tape shop so they do have their own separate like drawer um but they are all like completely color coordinated now so um and then i've got i've got one missing at the top there because it was broken um but these washies at the end i kind of um yeah need to sort of reorganize those ones um some of those are just my washi tapes here that I created with London Gifties. So they're just spares and extra. Um, but yeah, super happy with my washi wall. There you go. Um, so yeah, I do have all my greens, like every single washi tape I own that I'm like that I'm keeping. And I haven't like um, I actually got rid of like two huge like when i say huge i mean like huge boxes of washi tapes so yeah um all the greens that i'm going to be using are all here um and all the pinks whatever i want to use it's kind of all here for me to use 
you can see even March I didn't do super green because I kind of still I think like previous months I've gone for a very um traditional green setup um but yeah I kind of like the transition between pink and green so I'm going to cut these down to size glue them in things like that and then as always I'll go through like washing and stickering and things like that um on camera with you guys okay so i am back and it is gone a little bit darker because it's like almost 4 p.m here but i'm gonna try and just get this done because i always leave it and then tomorrow i'm out of the house pretty much all day and busy and wednesday uh as well so <laughs> i'm gonna just um plug through and hopefully the lighting is not too bad oh that's a bit yellowy let's leave that off um okay so this is where my gratitude is going to go so i'm just going to number that really quickly and then i have pulled out like stickers i've got um all my lauren phelps designs stickers that are sort of like marchy um that shouldn't be there i've got some of these from hello petite paper and some create with pen as well and I also received some happy mail from a planner Instagram friend. Um, so I've pulled out some of these stickers from there, which are just stunning, gorgeous. And yeah, lots of washi tape. I also have this sticker book, which I've been gifted to now very kindly um, by two different people on Instagram, two friends. Very sweet. Um, I'm definitely going to use them both up. So um, yeah. So we'll see if there's anything in here that I want to use. Um, yeah, let's get started. So I do have samples of um, some of this beautiful washi tape that um, Amanda, my friend, sent me. Uh, they are Lauren Feltz designs, but I think they're too wide to use up here. So I'll probably just go for one of my linen gifties. Or, because I think sometimes these are a little too wide as well. Oops. Yes, so I did recently receive some new washi from AliExpress. Um, it's a little bit like mermaidy, so maybe not that. Oh, maybe one of these actually. Let's see which. These are all from AliExpress as well, I think. Um, see that one is very peachy. That one's nice. Ooh can't decide i think i'm gonna go for just the green let's do just the green or i have this one no that's got like blue in it okay so this has got that backing paper on which i know a lot of people hate but i'm not so mad about it because i mean i'm not like um it doesn't annoy me because it actually for me is better to measure out how much i need Okay, that is good. Um, I haven't actually pulled out any of my tipping things yet, but I will do that. Um, I'll put that down straight. Um, do I want to put a sticker here? I think yes, but I'm not sure if I have anything. Like... Let's do the stickers after. Let's just do the washi. Um, here, I think I've decided I am also going to put washi because I've done my both my calendars in different ways so January I kind of folded it between Thursday and Friday and then I had this space so I added washi oops wrong page this one which I what I didn't really want to do because I've left the florals on there but because of the sizing this is obviously an A4 calendar um, and I wasn't able to resize it in a way that kind of fits nicely for February I decided to just actually fold it in half and center the calendar so there was no extra washi but obviously that means Thursdays you know uh got a fold like a crease right in the middle of it and I also just didn't really like the way it looked I thought actually I, I prefer it sort of um a bit more that way and then just have washi so that's how I've done it here put the crease where it should be and I will just add some washi here and in fact I think this one that I pulled out might be one that I like that I might use um 
but let's see because I do have a ton of greens which is surprising because green is actually not really like my fit one of my favorite colors at all but I seem to have a lot of green washies because I think partly just because um yeah London Gifties washies are stunning but I'm kind of looking for something a bit more pastel-y I think maybe this one is going to be a nice fit. It is sort of green, but I keep it with my pinks. I don't know why. <laughs> but um, Is that going to... Yeah, I think that's the nice contrast there. Okay nice and simple and then here I've got I guess a bit more of a wider gap these are going to be a little bit too wide so I might start with this one. This is from the washi tape shop. Um, I do have a discount code for them, by the way. Uh, it's just my name, plus 10, the action of 10. That will give you 10% off. Um, it's always linked below in the description box. And because that is quite thin, I think I am going to layer it with another um, washi tape. And then I also have space at the bottom. So do I want to put something there? I have this like very colourful one from London Gifties. That was um, a collab with Helen from Journal With Me. That would look quite nice because it's like got some yellows and hmm should I use that I think I'm going to tear it and then see if I have space like if it how it looks basically because I want to add I want to sort of layer up this side washi with another washi tape So let me take some of this off, in fact, ah! I actually have sticker remover, but I don't have the patience to like use it and then let it dry. So I'm gonna just do it like this and hope I don't make too much of a mess. Let's get my washi cutter from on Phelps Designs. Oh boy. Okay. I mean, hopefully that's going to get covered up by the washi tape anyway. I'm just not sure about this. I don't know. I kind of do like it. Hmm. I think I'm going to just use it. Why not? Let me try it around. That way. I will use some of this Lauren Phelps Designs washi. So now I have all three of my favorite washi tapes shops on one page. London Gifties, Washi Tape Shop, and Lauren Phelps Designs. It's a bit too big. I just felt like it kind of needs something a little bit extra there. So that's why I've added that. Okay, that's done. Um, and then this is my sticker page, so I'm probably just going to leave those blank spaces blank here as well. I mean, that's kind of covered up anyway. Um, then my daughter's pages, I've already put in their name vinyls because I had them 
I mean, they're kind of gold, but anyway, I already had them, so I thought I'm not going to print and cut new ones. Um, these might fit here. Maybe not. Let's put washi down on here first. And then one of these sample ones that Amanda sent me. Maybe this top one. No, the middle one. Because I do like the sizes to be consistent. I don't want like a wider tape on there. Oops. Vishaka's actually in India with her dad mm. it, right now. They actually went, um, they left this morning to go for three weeks. So I'm not sure how much I'm actually going to be able to write about her. But I'm hoping they'll send me like updates on what they're up to, their plans, things like that. And then at least I can write some stuff down. I think I've already sort of seen stickers that I want to use here. I love these two. Okay, and then I think this one. Fab. Love how those pages turned out. And they're all Lauren Phelps designs. I think I also have an affiliate code for her. I will leave that below as well if I um, can remember what it is. Um, this is my homeschool section. The last month I didn't actually leave this for any plans or anything like that just because we're sort of in revision mode for Vishaka with her exams. But um, like I said, she's not even here. So it will be mostly Ishri I'm doing homeschool with. And there are some like things I want to work on with her. So... So I think I will write them down. They're more like life skill things, but hmm, it's kind of nice many choices Ooh, maybe this one let's see or at least I can cut these out yeah I could use them sideways yeah maybe I'll do that oh I also have these I should try and use these as well Okay, mm, now I'm thinking not this because it's just, yeah, I might cut these out and use them <clears throat> in my A5 or just like as individual stickers, but I think I might go for this one instead. Let's see. Or the other one. Oh, I can't choose. Actually, I'm going to use this one because I haven't used this in a long time and it's definitely one of my favourites and it kind of matches with these little bit with these Lauren Phelps Designs stickers. Um. <clears throat> it's definitely like one of my absolute favourite washi tapes and I think because I used so much of it previously I was a bit worried it would run out so I kind of stopped using it. I love that. It's just such a gorgeous roll. pretty and then this is going to be like probably my word of the day which side and then one one side's going to be like my sticky note dump page um so i think i'll do my word of the day here and i do have some of these this like roll that's very pretty that i wanted to use 
Let's open it up and see. Oh, stunning. I love this sort of peachy color set. So I think what I'll do is keep these ones for something else. I just tuck them back in there for next time. And instead of just putting like the whole roll I think I'm going to cut them out and kind of fussy cut them and stick them around okay so I know that looks very symmetrical right now and I'm not so mad about like um having things like very symmetrical like this but it was kind of throwing me off balance having that here and I think once I start filling this in which I did decide to keep it as like a two-page spread for my word of the day um yeah I think it'll look fine and if it starts looking a bit strange then I might put like a few small stickers around um yeah but I think I'm going to leave it as it is for now so that is all my sort of washing oh I should have put I wanted to put hmm like some vellum or acetate here I just remembered because that separates my week what shall I do Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to, oops, am I? No, I'm not. I'm going to start, I'm going to end up tearing this page. So I'm just going to leave it, it's fine. I'll put like two pins elsewhere. Um, yeah, that's all my washing done. So let me just um, put a few stickers down. I don't think I've even been through this book to see, but I do like some of these clear gold stickers. So I might use this one. here because it's very thin and won't take up like oops I, maybe I spoke too soon <laughs> I was going to say too much writing space but that's quite nice um, like I said here probably not going to use anything Are there any small stickers I could use I mean, I like that green one. Just using tweezers to kind of help me with the spacing a little. Hmm. I thought that would fit, but it's not going to. Now I'm like, hmm. Not going to use it there. I could... Now it looks kind of just random. <laughs> I'll just put it here. Why not? Um, and then, yeah, I think that's it. I don't know why that keeps bending over. Um, okay, let me, I'm gonna see if I can actually pull these off neatly off camera. Um, and I'm going to just put my stickers away and grab my um, tip pins and then I'll be back.
finishing editing off my video, I realised I didn't actually show you guys um, what the final sort of flip through of March even looked like. So let me just do a quick flip. I have obviously started using it already. Set up my monthly calendar. This is from Lauren Phelps Designs. This is just something I printed myself. So I did manage to take off uh, these some of these stickers that were on this page and used this tip in there. And then, yeah, that is it, actually. So there wasn't much that I added. But still, I felt like <laughs> I'd kind of left it a little bit unfinished because I didn't do a full flip through. Um, this, again, is just something that I printed myself. Um, yeah, so that is my March setup. Um, thank you so much for joining me again for another setup video and I will see you guys soon. Bye.